Hi, Dorji McKinnon here with another Vajra video series that's helping internet and digital workplace professionals get stuff done. What I want to do today is talk about bringing the outside in. Um, so we can do that. There's the outside. We bring it in. Nice. Um, what I want to do is cover one in this video and then we'll do another video for another example of how you can bring um, outside inspiration into your internet or digital workplace. This one um, revolves around Maritime New Zealand. Now I live in New Zealand, I'm not a boaty, um, more a go on the hills kind of guy, but um, I ended up here when I was doing some research for a client and what I thought was particularly cool was this. Now if you look here, I'll just move myself down, the whole screen, the very beginning of the screen, what do you notice? One, two, three. These are the three major users or personas, and please tell me you've got personas for your internet, um, for Maritime New Zealand. Recreational bodies, commercial bodies, and then people looking for information about stuff that Maritime New Zealand government funded organisation must provide to the public, their funders, you know, their customers, clients, etc. Okay, so why did I think this was sort of interesting? Well, the really neat thing is that I'm going to move this back up here. I'm going to do this. Look at that. When I click on recreational, it doesn't only give me the things that I want to do, so the tasks or the topics that I might be interested in, but it gives me information for sub-personas of the recreational boaty, people who use paddle crafts, you know, supping and uh, kayaks, that sort of stuff, the sailing fraternity and men and women, obviously, um, people who go fishing, jet skis and power boats. So these are their major sub-personas for this particular set of content. And for me, when I saw this, I was blown away. I thought it was absolutely fantastic because it would be so easy to do this inside an organisation. You have personas. Please tell me you've got personas. You've got personas and we know that they are generalisations. But if we then subcategorise those, we could use exactly the same format of having, uh, for example, a fat footer that talks to specific all parts of the organisation. I'm not talking about organisational groups. I'm not talking about marketing and comms. I'm talking about the type of tasks or the type, the groups of people who you are delivering services to. And intranets aren't there for their own sake. They're there to make the work of the organisation better, to help facilitate the strategy of the organisation. You know, maybe it's... Um, helping street kids get off the street or to deliver better outdoor clothing to customers, whatever it is, you could use this type of idea of super personalising the menus to the personas um, pretty, pretty easily. Um, you know, just by modifying your menus and grouping some of the content. Uh, to give you another example, um, so here's the commercial one, and in this case we've got the different types of commercial sub um, personas available here. And the, in this case, these are the big things that this organisation delivers. So I, I really hope that you take a look at this um, and take the idea on board of not just having personas, but actively using them in your information architecture and in the wayfinding material that's available to them. Another great way that you could use this is in your search refiners. So when someone does a search, you may then be able to start tagging your content as the most appropriate to a certain group so that you can have some refiners down the side that I can see, identify with, and click on. And we've just done that with one of, one of my clients um, and they've really had a lot of success with it. So I hope you find this useful, inspirational, and that it's something you can do in 10 minutes or less, funnily enough. Um, try it out, test it, see if it works for your organisation, see if it helps you define better personas. Thanks everyone, this has been another Vajra video by me, Dorji McKinnon. If you need some help across the interwebs via desktop sharing or in person, contact me at www.vajra.co.nz. Good luck and happy intraneting.